Hello everyone. In today's video, I had prepared binding command with TCL technique. Binding is a one of the mechanism which provide event to execute. What are the different method for providing the events are the some button pressing from the keyboard, some button pressing from the mouse. So whenever this type of action occurs, a particular TCL command or particular TCL procedure which will be executed. So in the directly way, we on the front window, we have the widget, it is a GUI, it is composed, of, composed by the widget. Over the background, we have the TCL program. How this widget are communicating with the TCL program. So when we with this binding mechanism, we are going to control the flow of execution, like in which order a particular program or script going to execute. Few, few popular widget. Uh, what are the mechanism to provide the events are the we need to write first bind dot widget name like which widget we want to use for the binding events events must be enclosed by the angle braces now here we need to write the teacher this is a complete syntax we need to follow the few most popular events are the button one or button press one with the mouse button release by left releasing the left button of mouse B1 motion that provide the event uh, by wheel uh, scrolling the motion of the wheel. Leave and enter. These are the events provided by the cursor. Afterwards, return. Return is the one of the event provided by the keyboard by pressing the enter from the keyboard. Similarly, we have the backspace, arrow, tab, escape, comma. These are the event provided by from the keyboard. So whenever these event are going to occur over this particular widget, this specific TCL command will execute it. In addition to that, we can have provision, we can make our own event by composing the two or three buttons like control plus S, control plus E. These type of features are also possible which will be discussed on the next video. Here I have to want to show one example how I can create a GUI for arithmetic operation where by pressing the enter from the keyboard the result will be executed or we are binding this result uh, we are binding with the enter from the keyboard. Okay. So now first let me open this which window the console. If you look into the GUI which I have taken as a reference example, this is the first one in the entry space wherever we need to enter the first number then plus as a label, again entry, second entry box. After that if you wish we can write here label as equal to, after that when we press then we will get the output as addition result. Okay, let me start with the program here now. Very first, I am going to create entry. Entry dot e1 minus text variable. Here I am writing text variable because every time the value will be different. Minus text variable, I am going to write x. Okay. Now second, I am going to write label. Label dot l1. Here I am going to write text because plus icon, plus symbol. It is a static. Sorry. L A B. Okay. Afterwards, I'm going to write the second entry box. So entry E2. I'm going to change the text variable as Y. Okay. Okay. Afterwards, we have to create a label wherever we want to display the result for holding the our addition. So I'm going to create a label dot l2 so give some different name here i am going to use the text variable since every time result will be different i am going to write text variable as uh, suppose say result or take separate result uh, z okay now we have created everything now i need to pack it 
or pack the some other any type of grid manager grid or place any manager so pack i am going to write in the sequence dot e1 after that we need dot l1 then we need dot e2 sorry dot e2 then we have given the name dot l2 now we want to keep it over the left side so i am going to give the minus side left okay now if i just simply press it now we can visualize it here in our this screen we we must we have got this type of my screen we had we into e1 i have got some input input 2 i am giving the input now here level l2 is there but i am not getting any output if i pressing the enter now bind mechanism say bind we need to write it especially bind dot where we want to bind we want to when we press over e2 so our enter button from the keyboard must be binded with e2 e2 okay bind dot e2 here we need to use the flower braces sorry angle braces return with r caps now what we want to do we want to make value of label z it must be set z expr dollar x plus dollar y okay so according to our program now we have binded the enter from the keyboard now after this if i press keyboard keyboard return or enter from the keyboard i will get summation result as 77 now this is the beauty of binding we can provide the certain event okay we can provide certain event either from the mouse or from the keyboard after in by after making the program if you wish to change certain configuration suppose we want to make certain change so we can write dot e1 config config is a me mechanism which can change the configuration suppose i'm going to write minus bg some color minus pink minus font i'm going to write times suppose i'm going to take 14 bold So now we can visualize the result. The back configuration of e button has been changed. Similarly, I can change the configuration of E2. Now, if you my wish, you can make a smaller size of width. You can give minus width. Suppose I'm going to width 10. The size of button has been changed. If we wish, similarly, we can change the dot L1 config. let me make a single line yes dot l1 config if i'm going to take minus font that will change the font size times suppose if i take again 20 bold yeah. similarly finally we can make l2 also dot l2 okay so this is my complete this screen or GUI which we can pre which have prepared according to our program okay so in this way it is possible we can min provide event from the keyboard or we can provide event from the click of mouse okay. so now uh, I hope so this video will be helpful for you for learning the binding mechanism with TCLT thank you all